everybody. Welcome to Fiber at Four. This is Christiana. Hi, thanks for joining me today. And uh, today we're going to be talking about how we're crazy about cows. And I'm going to move my microphone because it's in a really awkward place. I keep trying to get it in the best possible place and it just doesn't work. So let me know if you can't hear me, but I think this should work. So Welcome to Crazy About Cows at Fiber at Four. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to show you guys I did finish another project. Uh, this is why I didn't have a new project to show you guys last week because uh, I was still finishing this guy up. So this is the Lore sweater and I just finished it yesterday. Hey Nancy, hey mom. Um, so you all are probably wondering, well, if you just finished it, why are you not wearing it? I have a very good reason. She's still wet. So <laughs> uh, once she is finished uh, drying and blocking, I will put her on. But uh, this was a stash buster. So this is one of my finished objects for February. So it's a hoodie. And I've got the hood tucked back there and I it's knit but I crocheted the button loops on here and I used some toggle buttons to really hold the sweater shut so that is one of my finished objects for this week oh thanks Cheryl that is beautiful. thanks Miriam it is a stash buster yarn uh, this is actually some yarn that mom gave me a couple years ago and I'm trying to bust my stash down a little bit so yeah I don't I'm, I'm trying to be a good girl and use up yarn before I buy any more. <laughs> uh, this is a worsted weight yarn, but it uses a size 11 knitting needle. So you kind of need a heavier worsted weight for it. Uh, I don't know if it's on Ravelry or not, because this is actually a sweater out of a book I had on my shelf at home. So <laughs> that is the lore sweater and the book is called Vampire Knits. So for those of you who are into vampires, but I just love the sweater. So, oh, thank you so much. Hi from, oh wow, North Carolina, hi. So that is one of my finished objects for this week and I will show you another one as we uh, keep rolling along because it kind of fits the theme for tonight. Bye Gail, bye Cheryl. Nice to see you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, crazy about cowls. I pulled a lot of product because I love, love cowls. Uh, the reason why I kind of love them over scarves is the fact that they are a closed loop and I tend to move around a lot. So when I wear a scarf, they tend to slip off my neck. So I like the fact that a cowl will stay put. Um, also too, you can fold it and stick it underneath your coat. So you put your coat over it and it stays in place. Also, this is a fantastic way to use up leftover yarn from any projects. So as you will see here in a few minutes, I have a cowl here that I used from leftover yarn from this sweater. <laughs> I really overbought when I made this sweater. So I have, from the yarn I bought for this sweater, I made a sweater, a shawlette, and a cowl. So great way to use up leftover yarn from a project. So let's get started with a shop favorite. I'm going to go off camera here for a second. So this is one of our absolute favorite projects. This is the three color cashmere cowl. It's by Hohi Yocatelli. And we have altered the pattern just a little bit. So it uses three hanks of yarn instead of five. So this is made with the Road to China light yarn. And this is the carnelian colorway, which is this nice reddish pink right here. And going off camera again here for a second, I pulled all the colors out because we love this cowl so much. We originally just had it in two colors. So the original colors were the carnelian, which is what the store sample is made out of. And then also the lapis, which would be this wonderful blue here. So those two kits have the same neutral colors, which are the gray pearl and the hematite with a pop of color in either the carnelian or the lapis. So these kits are $67.99 and they do come with the Ravelry download of the pattern to your Ravelry account or your email. And also on the back of the cover sheet inside your kit are the instructions on how to alter the cowl pattern so that you only need the three skeins instead of five. So these were the original colorways. 
and the new colorways that we just added. This is uh, Mother of Pearl, Morganite, and also the Carnelian in there. So for those of you who like your pinks and reds, we've got a nice pink, the red, and then the Mother of Pearl is your neutral. So instead of having two neutrals and a pop of color, you're having two colors and a pop of neutral. <laughs> And then we have uh, Smoky Quartz, Sapphire, and Peridot. So again, you've got two pops of color and then a nice neutral in there. And I really like those colors. I'm crazy about this sapphire. I know, it's not purple, but it's still, it, this is a wonderful, wonderful blue. We're going to call the purple police. Oh, Marianne's going to call the purple police on me because I just said how much I like blue. <laughs> And then this one is uh, Mother of Pearl, Moonstone, and Abalone. And this is great for those of you who like your neutral colors because you've got the two neutrals here. And then the Abalone, it is a green, but it's a very subtle green. It's not a bright, bright green. So this is a great colorway, color choice, if you prefer neutrals as opposed to the really bright colors. Yay. <laughs> Nancy says, hi, Marianne. And I see my brother just logged in. So, or did he? Maybe he didn't. Maybe I just can't read tonight. So uh, these again are $67.99 and they come with the three colors of the Road to China light, the Ravelry download of the pattern, and then the instructions on how we altered the pattern. So you're using three skeins instead of five. How much are these? So the kits are $67.99 for all the different colorways. And as you can see, it's still, it's a really, even though we're only using three hanks, it's still a really substantial cowl. So because the Road to China, I would classify it more as kind of a, a luxury type fiber. This is probably not your, I'm going out and shoveling the driveway cowl. So, but isn't that great? I love that pattern. I love the combination of the color change and the lace work in there. So probably why it's a shop favorite because it's just, it's a ton of fun. Next, I've got the Allison cowl. So this comes, this is $44.99 and it comes with the yarn to make the cowl and the printed pattern. So there it is right there. And we're using the colors that were used in the cowl, which is this nice red and a black. And this is the Beatrix yarn. It is a bulky yarn, so this is a super fast knit. Uh, this is this yarn is 54% extra fine merino, 30% angora, and 16% nylon. And you should probably get on the computer, Marianne, because you've got people saying hi at you. <laughs> I will have a couple crochet samples here in just a moment. But um, so the Allison Cowl, this was designed by Melissa Leapman, who was the designer for Juniper Moon Farm for this year. So here is the finished cowl and super super fast knit and i love these uh kind of slip stitches that she does in there so it's kind of like doing um you hold your yarn in front and slip the stitches and then you knit the the loop in later on so that's what creates that fun little loop there so great intro to color work great intro to slip stitch knitting and it's it's bulky it's fast and even though it is a bulky weight yarn, the project itself is actually very, very light. So this is not something that's going to weigh you down. So that is the Allison Cowl Kit. And I've only got one left, but this is $44.99 for the written instructions and the yarn. And that is the finished project. So speaking of crochet, <laughs> the next project, that cowl that I have to show off, this is the Cliff House Cowl. And this is a crochet project. This was designed by our friend Andy, Andy Graves, who teaches here at the shop. And she also publishes in a couple magazines. I think Crochet World is one of them. And shameless plug here, she's going to be teaching at a Yarn Fest, Interweave Yarn Fest in April. So if you haven't signed up for one of her classes, be sure to do that soon. <laughs> yeah, woohoo, crochet! So this guy just takes two hanks of yarn. It uses the Malabrigo Rios. So I've got three different colorways already packaged. The kits are 30, excuse me, $39.99. They come with all the yarn you need to make the, the cowl. And it also comes with the Ravelry download of the pattern direct to your either email or Ravelry account. 
So this one, um, again, for those of you who like your neutrals, this is Sandbank and Cocoa. And of course, you can uh, rearrange these any way you want. I am willing to bet if you flip the colors, you could probably get two cowls out of these two hanks of yarn. And then this is Whole Grain and Chris. Let me take a look here. So in this cowl, because uh, Malabrigo does kettle dye their yarn, it can vary from skein to skein. So this colorway here is actually the Chris colorway. But as you can see, the one I have in the kit here is a little bit more on the teal side, whereas this has more of the teal and the kind of purple color. So that just goes to show you that these can vary greatly from hank to hank. So... <laughs> Again, $39.99, and that's whole grain and crisp, so that is whole grain. And then the last one I have, this is Lotus and Natural. So if you like really drastic contrast, you've got just the natural with the Lotus. Lotus is kind of like the opposite of Chris, whereas Chris is more teal with purple. The Lotus is more purplish with little flecks of teal in there. So that is a, a great color. So that is the Cliff House Cowl. It is crocheted. It is $39.99. And you get the yarn and the Ravelry download to, of the pattern to your Ravelry account. And again, you could probably, if you flip the colors around, could probably get two cowls out of two hanks of the Rios. So going back to knitting. Normally, I, I, I don't have any specific way that I'm, I'm lining the products up, but for some reason tonight, they just happen to be in alphabetical order. So the next one is the Copenhagen Calling Cowl. And this is an Isabel Kramer design. We love Isabel. So this is a combination of lace work, color work, and just a plain ribbing stitch. So this is made out of... How terrible is this? I can't remember the name of the yarn. It's Stargazer by Juniper Moon Farm. So it is a sport weight, but it's kind of a heavier sport weight yarn. So this is the Copenhagen Colin Cowell. Um, the original pattern has it almost twice as wide as this guy, maybe even three times as wide. So with the kit, you're getting all the yarn you need, plus the pattern, plus some instructions to tell you how to um, kind of narrow it down to use only two hanks as opposed to six or seven. So the kit is $54.99 and this is amethyst and nebula. So of course purple and natural. And let me hold this up a little bit closer because it's got this really, really nice sheen to the yarn and it is super, super soft. Okay, and then this is Solaris and Orion. So you've got the nice charcoal gray with the nice gold. I wouldn't even call it a yellow. It's definitely a true gold. And then the last colorway I have with me is Europa and Nebula, which is this nice forest green and the kind of neutral, natural color side. It's meant to say natural. <laughs> Uh, we do have this in a couple other colorways. I just pulled three tonight to show you guys. So that is the Copenhagen Calling Cowl by Isabel Kramer. And the kit comes with the yarn, the pattern, and instructions to kind of narrow it down to take just two hanks of yarn. That is $54.99. Now this one, this is my pride and joy right here. <laughs> this is the Cooper Gap Cowl. And this is crocheted color work, which is combining two of my favorite things, crochet and color work. So this is by Melissa Leapman. So, oh my gosh, three of my favorite things right there, crochet, color work, and Melissa Leapman. <laughs> and this utilizes three colors of worsted weight yarn. So the kits that we have packed for the Cooper Gap Cowl use Moonshine, which is one of my absolute favorite yarns. If you've never used Moonshine before, please give it a try. It is wonderful yarn. So let me see. I've got the fiber content right here. It is 40% alpaca, 40% wool, and 20% silk. So it does have a nice subtle sheen to it. It's not a bright shine. So that, I, I just love, love this yarn. 
So we've got the Cooper Gap Crocheted Cowl Kit. It is $74.99 and it comes with three colors of moonshine and a download of the pattern to your Ravelry account. And honestly, you guys, when I made this, I used maybe half a ball per color. So I have no doubt in my mind you can get two cowls out of one kit. So this is uh, Amethyst, Great Passion, and Dew. So I see a comment. Okay, um, all the kits shown tonight are on the online inventory. If you go to the shopping tab, uh, click on the fiber at four shopping category and it will be under there. So all the products are in a centralized location. So they're a touch easier to find. So this is of course the, the purple colorway. And then we also have this in Undersea Birchwood and Prince Charming. So Undersea is a very lovely navy blue and Prince Charming is this nice charcoal gray. And Birchwood is this tan color right here. And um, of course you don't, I, I love these kits, but you don't necessarily have to buy the kit. You can make this out of any, um, worsted weight yarn that you like. If you want to choose a different color of moonshine, that is perfectly fine. Um, it would look great out of just three solid colors of the Ultra Wool or even the Rios with that tiny bit of color variation in there. This would just look wonderful out of any worsted weight yarn. But the kits do come with the pattern and the yarn and they are $74.99. And truly, you could probably get two cowls out of one kit. So next is the double pebble cowl. So we're back into knitting again. And this is uh, uses the pebble yarn by Shibui and they classify it as a fingering weight yarn, but we have it here in the shop physically in the lace section because it is a very lightweight fingering yarn. It's really, really soft. So you've got the striping effect and you've got the marling effect where you hold the two colors together. So you transition from one color to the next by holding the two different colors together. So this cowl is $49.99. It comes with the pattern and then two hanks of the Shibui Pebble. So this is Fjord and Tar. Sorry about the shine there, guys. So may you show a close picture of the crochet. You know what? Uh, why don't I? Hey, Marianne, can I borrow you for a sec? Yes, ma'am. I'll have Marianne show, <laughs> hold it up closer to the camera. Edwin, I'm, I'm assuming you mean the Cooper Gap cowl? So, here comes Mary Ann. Could you hold this closer to the camera so Edwina can get a better look at it? Thanks, sorry. If I, I'm a little too short to <laughs> really lean over to the... Say it ain't so. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Wait, let me, oops, oops, sorry. <laughs> So that effect is created by crocheting into the back loop only. That's why it has kind of a ridged effect to it. But by crocheting into the back loop only, it helps the color work pattern line up a little bit better. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Anything else? I think we're good for right now. Okay. Alrighty, so the double pebble cowl. Here's our shop sample. Thank you, Edwina. This is a fun, fun crochet project. Um, if you've never tried color work crochet before and you're a crocheter, give it a try. It is a lot of fun. It is gorgeous. And this, uh, Melissa actually designed this because uh, there's so many Fair Isle knit patterns out there. She felt it was a little unfair to crocheters. So she designed this so we can have a taste of Fair Isle as well. Okay, double pebble cow. <laughs> so uh, just done in the round the kit comes with uh, the yarn and the pattern so that was fjord and tar which we already took a look at this is velvet and tar so velvet is kind of a reddish purple color about the same color as my hair and tar is this nice charcoal gray color and then i've also got abyss and ash so ash is this nice sorry about the shine pale silver color and then abyss is almost a true black it has a little bit of a tweeting effect to it so it's not a true true black it has a little charcoal to it could a novice crocheter do it if you're patient yes so um with 
a crocheted color work where it differs from knitting is you carry the yarn knitting you carry the yarn behind your work whereas crocheting you crochet over the yarn that you're carrying so I hope that makes sense and Edwina if you have any questions go ahead and send an email to info and I will answer them for you so crocheting you don't get the floats like you do in knitting I know there are uh, some people will create the floats with the yarn in the back and then on the next round crochet it in I just carry the the alternate color that or the color I'm not using I carry it and crochet over it and then switch as as needed as the chart suggests so it's just a single crochet into the back loop and just changing colors all right so the double pebble cowl again comes with the pattern and the yarn you need to make the cowl and it is $49.99 so my next one is another knit one and I only have one left in stock I hope to be getting more soon but this is the equilateral cowl and for those of you who are knitters and have not tried color work this is a great introduction to color work it's just a simple triangle pattern and it utilizes three colors so in true fair isle tradition you're only using two colors per row so, and that is made from the wool pop yarn by universal yarn and i've got one kit left in stock we should be getting more soon though so it's 49.99 it comes with three hanks of the yarn so all the yarn you need plus the printed pattern and I know I've said this before, but it is still true today. Universal Yarn is incredibly generous with their yarn in these kits. Um, my mom made this sample and she said when she was done with it, there was probably enough yarn left to make at least one more cowl, if not another two. So they are incredibly generous with their yarn. You could make the cowl and then use the leftover yarn to make a matching hat. So just carry the pattern up in, into a hat. So. $44.99 with the wool pop and the wool pop is 50% bamboo, 35% superwash wool, and 15% polymade. And it's really cool. It's got kind of a shiny fiber spun in there with the yarn. So it has a really, really cool effect when you knit with it. Uh, wool pop is also fantastic for socks. Um, so it's a DK weight yarn, so it would be a much faster knit with the socks. But yeah, the super, super fun cowl. And then next, I've got another knitted cowl, and this is one of my personal favorites. This is the Garnet Ghosts cowl. It is by Polka Dot Sheep. And their bags aren't sealed. They are Ziploc type bags, so I can go ahead and open that up and give you guys a better look at the pattern. So this guy, it's um, knit in the round with a provisional cast on, so you make a tube and then when you are going to put it together you pick up the stitches that you cast on provisionally and then you kitchener stitch it shut so it is like a double layer of fabric on your neck so it's really really nice and the polka dot shape yarn that comes with it is called iron horse it is 75 percent merino 25 percent mulberry silk it is delicious yarn it is wonderful to work with and the mulberry silk gives it kind of a, a little bit of a sheen. It is a fingering weight yarn. And the kit comes with the yarn, the pattern, and a little tin of beads. Which, I mean, oh my gosh, isn't that cute? It has their logo on it, but that's so cute. They're glass beads, and let me see what the size is. Yeah, we tried doing that a couple weeks ago, and Melanie spilled beads everywhere. <laughs> Oh, they're gorgeous. So it's a size six seed bead. And the beads do match uh, the project. Uh, some of them are matte finish. Some of them are glossy finish. So the kit itself is $52.99, and it comes with the beads, the yarn, and the pattern. And this is the one I made. And for those of you who watch Fiber at Four, you know that I fully admit I goofed up on the pattern. But the goof up. I thought it looked really, really pretty, so I just kept doing what I was doing. And it's a great um, intro to lace, so there's a little bit of lace work in there. Cat's paw, right? Yeah, a cat, cat's paw, thanks, Marianne. 
Um, it also has beads in there, and I'm not sure if they instruct you on how to put the beads in here. Um, they have a tutorial about it, but you can't, the easiest way, or I shouldn't say the easiest, but the best way I know of to knit with beads, unless the pattern specifically tells you how to put the beads into your project, I use a little tiny steel crochet hook, put the knit stitch on my hook. Well, actually you put the bead on first, put the stitch on your crochet hook, pull the bead over the stitch, and then put the stitch back on your needle and work it. The reason I like that better than stringing them on your yarn is first of all, I don't have to string them on my yarn. <laughs> and second of all, when you do it that way, it centers the bead on the stitch. So it shows evenly on both the front and back side. So uh, on a project like this, not being able to see it on the back side is not, it's not quite as important, but if you're say working on a shawl, something where possibly both sides could be showing, that's the best technique for uh, knitting with beads. So, and again, try knitting or crocheting with beads. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it adds a lot of sparkle and pizzazz to your project. And I know um, you might be thinking, well, if I have got glass beads in my cowl, isn't it going to make it a little cold? No. Once the glass is on your skin, it warms up, so it's not going to hold any cold against your neck. So we've got three colors of this cowl in stock. So the one that I just showed you is starfish. And then this is a very fall color, or I should say autumn. This is lavish, and it's got rich greens, reds, and magentas in it. Not like a bright magenta, more of a red magenta, so it's not like a, a really bright pink. And then this one is called nebula, and so this has a whole rainbow of colors in it. There's some blue, teal, green, pink, and red. So again, those cowl kits are $52.99, and it comes with the printed instructions, the yarn, and a nice cute little tin full of glass beads. So next, another knit one. <laughs> I promise I have more crocheting projects in here. <laughs> this is the Cassiani cowl, and this is made of Barocco Luca which is one of my absolute favorite yarns. It is definitely a luxe yarn. It is a 50-50 blend of cotton and cashmere. And even though it does have that cotton in it, this is still a very, very warm yarn. It's great for your wintertime hats, cowls, scarves. Um, again, because it does lean more towards the luxury side of yarn, this is probably not your, I'm gonna go out and shovel snow cowl. This is probably, okay, I'm going to go to work and freezing cold leather and I'll wear this cowl. cowl. <laughs> so this uh, particular cowl uses, again, the Luca yarn, it uses two co uh, excuse me, two skeins of your main color, which is that cream, and then one skein each of the contrast colors, so the gold and the silver. So we actually have two colorways of this particular kit. It is uh, $122.99 because it does have the cashmere in there. It comes with all the yarn you need to make the cowl, plus an upload of the instructions to your Ravelry account. So we've got the main colorway, which is this guy, so the original colorway that the cowl was made out of. So you've got the creamy white, and the gold, and the silver. And then we put together an alternate colorway that we really like. It's uh, almost the same, but we replaced the gold with the lapis. I know some of us cannot wear yellow. It just doesn't look good against our skin tone, whereas the nice rich blue will look better against our skin. So we've got two of them, one for us who look better in cold colors and one for those of you who look better in warmer colors. So again, that is, uh, oh gosh, the, print, the price was printed off the tag on that one. So this is $122.99. You've got all the yarn and the upload of the pattern to your Ravelry account. So this next one I don't have a sample of yet, but I saw it and got so excited and I figured we needed it. This is, and I'm, I'm probably going to say this wrong, the Myrsine, M-Y-R-S-I-N-E cowl. And this 
is a project from our friends at Earth Yarns. So when you buy the kits, they plant trees. They plant a tree for every skein of yarn sold, which I think is awesome. And this cowl uses um, two hanks of yarn. So you've got uh, the main color, which is a solid color, and then the contrast, which is your variegated. It is $67.99, and you've got all the yarn you need to make the cowl plus the printed instructions. This is a fingering weight project. And this, I believe, uses earth and monochrome, I want to say. So, sorry about the shine there. These guys come sealed, so I don't want to pop them open. So this is the hazelnut colorway that I just showed you. And then this is oleaster and color 3017, and that's really what the color name is. So that is going to be even worse because they, they folded the pattern around the yarn so it's harder to see. So there's your nice creamy neutral with the um, really, really bright variegated. And that's actually the colorway they used for the cowl on the pattern in the photo. So yeah, I really like that there's um, blues, reds, a little bit of kind of an orange in there. And this is definitely for those of you who like your neutrals. So the hazelnut is a nice pale tan and the um, variegated in here has tan, brown, blue, and a little bit of green, but it's a very um, subtle blue and green. It's not a very bright one. So these guys are $67.99. It comes with the yarn and the printed pattern. And I love earth yarns. Earth yarns are fantastic. Marianne will, will second that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Marianne will always, always use earth yarns if she can. The next guy is the Repose Cowl. Now this is another really substantial cowl. This guy you could probably double up around, around your neck for a lot of added warmth. This kit uses the Haven by Shibui for the main colors and then the splash of color is a Bocado by uh, Manos del Uruguay. And it is garter stitch, so really, really simple. And then you just carry up your working yarn up the side. And I just, I love this little splash of color. I think that is fantastic. And it is a really, really big cowl. <laughs> so the kit is $159.99 and it comes with six skeins of the Haven and one of the Bocados and the printed pattern. And the Haven by Shibui is a wonderful, wonderful yarn. This guy is 80% extra fine merino and 20% cashmere. He is about a DK weight yarn and it is, oh my gosh, so, so soft. So this cowl would definitely keep you warm in the below zero temperatures that we've been having the past week or so. And this guy, this is another reason why I love cowls as opposed to scarves, is you can double up around your neck and this is not going to move it is going to stay put so you can wear it just a single layer tuck it under your coat or you can wrap it around your neck a couple times so that you're keeping your exposed skin unexposed and warm <laughs> so this is the repose cowl the pattern is on Ravelry if you choose to use a different yarn um, the kit, again, is $159.99. It comes with six skeins of Shibui Haven and one Bocado and the printed pattern. So this colorway that I have here is Noir, Bone, and Turmeric. So your turmeric is this nice little yellow guy here. Bone is this pale gray. And Noir, um, I know he looks black, but he is a very, very dark navy blue. And then this guy is... Noir, tar, and turmeric. So again, you've got the nice golden yellow bocado. Uh, noir again is that super, super dark navy blue. And then uh, tar is this charcoal gray over here. So this is a more subtle color change if you don't want something quite as bright as the blue with the bone. So again, repose cowl, $159.99. All the yarn plus the printed pattern. Alrighty. The next one I've got, oh, 
It's called the Spiral Rib Cowl. And this uses just only one skein of the Yakima, which is a sport weight yarn. And this kit is $34.99. It comes with the Yakima plus the printed pattern. And I'm trying to find one where I can see the fiber content on this guy. Eh, you know what? I'll just pull a skein out and tell you guys I can always tape this shut again. <laughs> The fiber content on Yakima is 85% fine superwash merino and 15% yak. Yak is actually a really, really wonderful fiber. Um, we've also got the Yakity Yak by Greenwood fibers. Yak is very hardy. It's very weather resistant. It's incredibly warm because these animals need all that fur to stay warm. So it's really fun to work with and it's not at all heavy it's very soft and very wonderful to work with so the spiral rib cowl is as you could have guessed a rib pattern but it's got this really cool spiraling effect in there it almost looks like kind of half of a dna helix and i only brought over three colorways but we do have more so the color i just showed you guys that is pewter which is a nice silver. It's kind of got a little bit of a tan undertone to it, so it's not a real silver silver. And then we've got pine. Um, pine, I think, looks more kind of like a, um, a, a yellow green. And then lastly, we have teal, which is definitely a true teal. These guys are more of a tonal as opposed to a solid color, so there's slight variations in the color in the hank. So again, that is the spiral rib cowl. It is $34.99 for the yarn you need and the printed pattern. So this next kit, I think they had people like me in mind when they designed it. This is the sugar plum cowl and the pattern's by Edie Ekman. Now this cowl has both crochet and knit patterns in it. So yay, thanks for thinking of people like us. And it has the printed pattern and then the three colors of yarn you need to make the cowl. It's $44.99. And y'all, they are not making this kit anymore. So this is the last one I have in shop. So we can't get it again. So if you really like this pattern, you might want to hop on this. So the kit comes with both the crocheted instructions and the knit instructions. And again, this is another universal yarn kit. So again, they are very, very generous with the amount of yarn that they give you. I got both of these cowls out of the kit and I still had yarn left over. I probably could have gone ahead and added a stripe to both, both of these. So like another blue stripe on there. Uh, it's just a simple zigzag pattern in both of them. And it's honestly super, super fun. So got both of these guys out of the kit. So the Sugar Plum Cowl is $44.99 and it features Donna Yarn by Fibra Natura. And I'm trying to find the fiber content on here. Here we go. It is 100% Superwash Extra Fine Merino Wool. And comes in these colors. So the kind of baby blue and candy pink. And this color is a nice charcoal gray really really fun to make both the knit and the crochet so the next pattern is a crocheted project and it's another one of my pride and joys besides the cooper gap cowl this is the alice capelet which i designed for um i want to say yarn crawl oh my gosh it's been such a long ninth time no not for ninth anniversary andy designed the crochet project for the ninth anniversary so you're probably saying you're talking about cowls. Why on earth are you showing us a capelet? Well, I love multitaskers. And what I had in mind when I designed this project was so that you could wear it as a capelet, but instead of wearing it just as a capelet, you can pull it over your shoulders and just wear it as a cowl. Um, this is a great springy summertime project because it is made of bamboo from Theodora's Pearls. And just, it's a super fun crochet project. 
and you can use any DK weight yarn. So you could totally take the pattern and use a more winter friendly yarn, like your Ultra Wool or Quaker Hill. That's Gail's favorite yarn. You can use Quaker Hill for this too. So the, the bamboo is great for your spring, summertime, early fall wear. And this is my personal sample. Unfortunately, we no longer have the purple kits. I might have bought the last one, sorry. <laughs> but we do have uh, the original colorway, which is Old Town. So I thought this was a cool color combination. It kind of reminds me of a sunset. So you've got the, the little bit of sun and then the lighter color going into the darker color as the sun is setting. And then this is River Stones. And Jennifer from Theodora's Pearls actually put this together because she likes a really good neutral for people who, who don't like the brighter colors, which is perfectly fine. So this has a nice chocolate brown and a gray with slight color variations in it and then a nice creamy white. Um, for those of you who've never used Jennifer's prod products before, they are not a solid solid. They have a great tonal effect to them. Some of them even have a little splash of color, which I think is so much fun. So the Alice Capelet kits come with the three colors that you need. So there's, uh, I think these are 100 gram skeins and then a 50 gram skein for the top. Uh, it comes with the printed pattern and these are $84.99 and we've got just the two colorways remaining in stock. So Old Town and Riverstones. And, and it's crocheted. I love my crochet projects and I love purple. <laughs> so the next one I want to show you this is, I should have you talk about this one, Marianne. You want to talk about this one? Sure. I'm going to have Marianne talk about this cowl because she's the one who made it. So I'm going to step aside for a second. Ooh, I can get the microphone off. What are we doing here? We're talking about your cowl and the oh, This is just gorgeous. I mean, it's, it's, it's Manos del Uruguay yarn. How can you go wrong with Manos yarn, right? So it is one, two, three, four, five, five mini skeins. And this pattern, is, the whole point of this pattern is jogless stripes. So some people call it um, helix knitting and some people call it jogless stripes. And so you can see that there are, um, um, so there's a, a, a little stitch there that's not quite correct, but there are, there are no jogs in, in this, whole, this whole project. So it's a cool technique. Um, I did a class for this um, in the fall, and I'm gonna, I think, do another class for a different cowl for jogless stripes um, in, the, um, in the spring. So Manos del Uruguay, um, Fino yarn, this is $44.95 and it is 70% wool, 30% silk, um, absolutely magnificent. Now this is um, the Fino, so it's, it is the fingering weight. Um, and so there is quite a little bit of knitting in it from that point of view. It's not, you know, not nearly as fast of a project, certainly as the bulky. Um, and yet this yarn is just magnificent and it creates just a beautiful, beautiful finished product. What's this pattern called? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, Pirouette. Um, cowl by Lisa R. Myers. And um, this is done on a size five needle and there is enough yarn um, to do two cowls. So um, it works out beautifully. And part of the class is figuring out how to get the stripes, how to, how to stack the colors to get the stripes that you want. So um, come to class, big, a big, uh, a big um, uh, push for the class. So thank you. Um, this one's beautiful, so enjoy. And then I'm gonna trade you back again. Yeah, we're trying to be careful. <laughs> okay. So my last item for tonight is for crocheters. 
and this is my personal way to try and encourage you to design your own projects. So, yeah. So I've got two cowls here that I designed on my own. First is this guy, which used, this is actually our eight year anniversary yarn from almost two years ago, can you believe it? And I put buttons on here. So again, this is a, cowls are a great way to use leftover yarn. So the way I use my leftover yarn is just to add buttons. You could add ties too, a nice, uh, like cute little ribbon ties would be fun. So this is one project. This is the one I just finished. So again, I totally overbought the yarn when I made this. So this is a nice zigzag stitch crocheted cowl and I just did toggle buttons and chains to hold it shut. So this I used uh, Road to China Light, same as this sweater. Why am I showing you these guys? Well, I got the stitch patterns from this book. This is Melissa Leitman's Indispensable Stitch Collection for Crocheters. And what's great about this is she gives you the pattern repeat, so it would say 20 stitches plus two. So that's how many stitches you need to chain, you need to single crochet. This book has everything from just your basic stitches on up to advanced color work, cables. Um, honestly, this guy is not as hard as he looks. This is just done with slip stitches and two colors. So let me show you guys just a couple stitches in here. I had a lot of fun playing with this book and my copy is starting to wear out. It doesn't look anywhere near as nice as the new copies do. <laughs> so let me find... I have to show you guys some of the cables in here. The cables are fantastic. Uh, again, if you haven't tried crocheted cables, try crocheted cables. I think they're easier than knit cables because you don't need any extra equipment to do them. You just need a hook and yarn. So this stitch pattern is what I used for this cowl here. Marianne's going to hold that up closer to the camera. Okay. And then it's going to take me a lot longer to find that one, but I just, I have to show you guys the cables in here. Oh my gosh, which one do I want to show you guys? This is the entwined lattice. And oh my gosh, isn't that fantastic. So even if you're a novice crocheter, because this has very simple stitches all the way up to those complex cables, this is a wonderful, wonderful reference book. This guy is $24.99. And honestly, you crocheters out there, I cannot recommend this book enough. I have used mine so many times. Like I said, mine, mine's falling apart. The new copies look <laughs> much better than my personal copy at home. So great way to learn how to design your cowls. You could use it for sweaters, for blankets, for anything. So I highly, highly recommend putting this in your library if you are a crocheter. So these two cowls that I have here are stitch patterns. And sorry, I haven't blocked this guy yet, which is why he's a little wrinkly. These are both stitch patterns that I found in this book. So I would highly, highly recommend uh, adding this to your library. I know, I know I say over and over again what a huge Melissa Leapman fan I am, but honestly, this, this is just a great, great crochet book. Well, that is all we have for you guys tonight. So next week you will be seeing Melanie. I am not going to be here next week, sorry. So we're gonna be talking about Valentine's Day. It's gonna be a Valentine's Day party. So I hope you all will join Melanie next week and we will see you later. Thanks, bye.